Thomas, Percy, and James were looking at the early morning sky. Everyone's so much happier when springtime comes, said Thomas. Everyone except Sir Topham Hatt, grumbled James. He seems to be working us harder than ever. I'm tired of these coastal runs. He just wants everything to be ready for the holidays, replied Percy. Anyway, salty air makes me all cheerful in my smoke box. Pah, snorted James. It's the countryside that really gets me fired up. It's the only place to be. And he puffed away to collect his freight cars from the docks. Thomas and Percy had to take some empty freight cars to the scrapyards. In a siding, they saw an old coach. She looked very sad. What are you doing here? They called me Old Slow Coach and told me I wasn't useful anymore. Now only the mice ride in me. Well, you may be dusty, but you look in perfect shape. The yard manager appeared. Come along. I have freight cars for you to take away. Excuse me, said Percy's driver. Can you tell us about this coach? Old Slow Coach. She's been here for years. She'll be broken up when we find the time. The engines were dismayed. We'll try and help you, said Thomas. But he didn't know how. Meanwhile, James was enjoying himself. This is the life, he chortled. But he was heading for trouble. One of the fuel cars was leaking. Then, suddenly, it caught fire. Oh, help, cried James. They reached a siding, and his driver gave the alarm. It's fuel, and it's dangerous. As Thomas and Percy approached the junction, they saw the smoke and a guard waving a red flag. Sparks from James's funnel have set the cars ablaze, he called. The fire is under control, but it's quite a mess. You said the countryside got you all fired up, James, said Percy, but I didn't think you meant it in this way. Ha, huh, snorted James. It was the stupid car's fault, not mine. It's safe to proceed now, called a fireman. Thomas and Percy now felt sorry for James. It wasn't long before they reached the station. Later, as they were having a long drink at the water towers, they suddenly heard a commotion. What's the matter, Thomas asked. It's another fire at the workman's hut, replied Thomas's driver. We better see what we can do. The fire engines had a big problem. We are completely out of water, cried a fireman. We can't use seawater because it clogs our works. We'll just have to let that building burn. Then Thomas had an idea. Why don't you use the water in our tanks? We've just refilled them. The firemen wasted no time. You're very clever engines, chuckled their drivers. Soon the fire was out, but the hut where the workmen lived was destroyed. The men can't sleep on the beach, said the foreman. What about old slow coach? She would be perfect for the workmen, said Percy. Comfy, too, added Thomas. What a good idea, Percy, said his driver. They phoned Sir Topham Hatt, who agreed. She'll be spick and span by the time you collect her. And she was, and very happy, too. I can't thank you enough. I feel splendid. The engines buffered up to her, and she set off happily for her new home. Everyone agreed there was nothing old or slow about Coach, and she will always be really useful indeed.